vet jag fan. Alltså jag måste ju vara där. Oh. oh shit! Oh we are under water! Oh no! No no no! Oh no! Come on! When I was 19 years old, I think, I started to work in a mountain hut on Kungsleden and then I started to run in the mountains and I started to really, really love it. It's really cool actually, because it's so wild, uh, it's so far away from everything. You just need to hike there for many days and then you will have all the beautiful mountains for yourself. It's hard to say if I trained, trained enough for it, not yeah. sure. Normally it's Erika here, she wants to join me for a short run tomorrow. <laughs> We're so far up north now, like way above the Arctic Circle and the sun is up 24 hours. That's also freedom, like you can just run during the night and day and night and you don't know what day it is. And uh, I'm excited to run finally. It feels like yeah, we're resting for a week. So it will be nice. Can we fall up? Yes, we shall we? Yes. in office school at one o'clock in the morning and it's mainly because we need to reach a, a boat that goes to Salto Lukta which is the first day and then second day we're going to Wikiok and then I'm going to Jekvik, Amanas, Hemavan and that's Kungsled and I'm gonna try to run hopefully finish in, in five days <laughs> with a bit of break for sleeping <laughs> it's the maximum speed of today i think <laughs> Yesterday was like a typical Swedish weather day. Like we begin in sun and it was hot, it was running in shorts and all sweaty. And then we see this like clouds coming in and in like five minutes it's just like big thunder and rain and cold and we were like freezing. <laughs> so that's like very Swedish weather. Hold on. Cannot run. My legs, I don't feel them. Here we can run. <laughs> wow, it's nice here. Before the cold, I was feeling okay. So I hope it will be better tomorrow. We just have 80 kilometers tomorrow. <laughs> Or 11 years actually since I was working here but it's really nice because it's my first mountain hut and the mountain hut system in Sweden is really cool it's something that's called the Swedish Tourist Association and they have huts kind of all over the mountains and that's so amazing to run in between these huts 
I really love it and I loved working in one because you meet so many people that are they are in the mountains and they come back and they are really like wow now I'm happy to be here so I can have a good night's sleep <laughs> <laughs> is it good? Mm. it's so good because I don't feel hungry, but I can just eat and eat and eat. Last year, I just told myself that I think I just want to go back to 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 do mountains, and maybe I can do some fast time. So the record is so much more than just a race. It's just you, and that's really motivating me. And I think I can become the strongest I am when I'm doing that. very well and, and I think she had time to stop and talk to me so it's not that in a hurry. I think most people do it in 30 days. For me walking it in 20 days is already in a fast yeah. pace. No. And, and, where, and where was she last night? At Quickio. Yeah. Quickio? Yeah. yeah. So we drove now. We drove from Quickio, yeah. I, I, feel, I feel foolish now going slow. <laughs> <laughs> I was organizing a race called Solomon Trail Tour Order. I was standing by the finish line, as I always try to do. And I saw this girl. I could see the joy in her face. I could see the aura when she was coming into the finish line. That she was really loving it to run. So I was calling up our director, Greg Volet, and asking him, Hey Greg, I think I have a girl that would be as good as Killian Yourné or Anna Frost by then. And he was just, Eric, you know, she's from Sweden. And Sweden is not really famous for its hills and for its uphill and downhill. So, and I was begging him, Greg, please, can you send her to a race? And then, okay, Eric, let's go. We'll give it a go. And then he's just gone rocket star high. I feel so happy to be on the road. Not need to concentrate and jump over rocks. Oh, it's, it's so easy. We're oh. born to run and she is really born to run, that's for sure. For her it's not really the most important is to race. The most important thing is just to be out there. Yeah, running is for sure a big part of life. I, I love running uh, and what it gives me. Uh, but it's also a lot more to life. For me, it's a lot about the connection with nature, and I can, I can find connected if I'm working in the nature, if I'm working in the garden, or if I'm preparing, like the wood storage, or if I'm uh, preparing something for my sheep, or if I'm picking berries, or. Uh, 
um, cooking food like from my own garden it's in a way taking care of nature and being connected to nature that's what I'm that's a that's a very big part of my life day four uh, maybe have like 72 kilometers left I start to feel a little tired it will be another a bit unexpected long day again about tomorrow yet it's uh, I, I I always I said to myself before that okay if you make the fourth day you're gonna finish but I'm not sure I can do 80 kilometers tomorrow <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Running so long every day, it's, it's really demanding. Um, I cannot uh, imagine how she can do it, mentally and physically. I don't have word for it. Of course, it, it really comes and goes, the, the low moments and then the, the euphoric moments when you just are so happy to be out there. If she believes in something, she really can do it. And for especially this, this is like the fastest thing someone would have ever done. And she's just like, take it so easy. So what was actually really cool for these days was that I was going into a bubble and I didn't think one kilometer ahead. I didn't think about when I was gonna arrive because that would make it so hard. Or your senses were like, just now. <laughs> The main part is that we want to be outside, want to be running, want to do things that we love, to be in the nature, feel free. In that way, I think we all fulfill our dreams. And what is so amazing is that it's water everywhere. I just had a bottle and when it was empty, I just stopped in a river and filled it. Not so much more to say then. I'm happy to be halfway and I just hope that I will finish okay.